Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hi do you <laughs> Forgot what I was going to say in there. Uh, Clint is working on the corner of the... My table. Of his table. Let me just see if I can raise this so you guys can see him. Oh. Anyways. Honey, wave. Hi everyone. No, closer. Oh. You have to stretch. Stretch further, stretch oh, further. There you are. There, you are. <laughs> there he is. Anyways, he's working on his ruffles and we're sharing our table. So, I wanted to show you guys, I have tons of paper <clears throat> and, you know, I'm continuing our, uh, kind of build your stash, use, I guess use your stash to build your stash maybe. It's kind of what we're doing and I have some things here that just tons of scrap paper and I really want to kind of just use some of this stuff up so I'm gonna pull out just some fun fun ones that I think would be fun to use <clears throat> different sizes things like that and right. I'll show you what I'm gonna do so I hope you guys are doing well it is Actually, this won't show until, what, Tuesday? No, then this Monday. Oh, yeah, this is Mondays. This one won't show till Mondays, but today's Sunday. <laughs> Ooh, maybe that. That's kind of pretty. So, <clears throat> I just kind of, you know, my focus on this stash or on this um, mm. series is to just use up a bunch of stuff in here and hopefully I will add some like I said to those boxes for my giveaway things like that so I'm just pulling out some papers that's probably enough yeah. show you guys what I'm going to do um, I'm actually going to use I think I'll use this and then I'll do another video on <laughs> what I had planned on doing uh, here's my guest checks from yesterday, yesterday's video. So I'm just going to pile those and then, you know, at the end of our series or whatever, I'll show you all that we were able to make. So one thing I really love to have in our, <coughs> in, our in my stash is <coughs> like those fold over flips. Now with those you can use them, you know, you can make them out of whatever you want to. I am kind of going to make one out of this. So, let me see. This is from a an ideal magazine. <clears throat> it's a little bit too long. I think I'm going to cut off this green part right here. So let me grab my cutter here. And, you know, I don't think these will take all that long. They're just going to kind of, uh, I don't see my Ring. corner rounder. Do you see my corner rounder? Is that that thing you broke? Yeah, that. <laughs> Is that that thing you broke? That would be it. So, Clint's looking. I'm going to look real quick. See hmm. if we can't find it. I may have put it up. I'm not sure I ain't seen it, huh? Let me look over here. Oh. Yep. So it's pretty warm this evening and we open the front door because you know we only have an a uh, window air conditioner and it gets really loud. So, Clint and I decided to just kind of play and just do some fun things today. So, I'm going to show you guys. Um, again, you can use just your scraps for these. And this one, shall I give you a... You okay? Sorry. Yeah. I'll give you a measurement. <clears throat> just in case you want to recreate exactly what I've done. Uh, it's close to nine inches by four and a half or so so 
I just love these little uh, tulips. And I'm going to go ahead and just go like this. And then these are going to be little foldovers. This is an idea that I came across where I thought up when I was <laughs> taking a nap. And it always makes me laugh when I think about it. And uh, <clears throat> so I was laying on the couch. I was fixing to take a nap and it came to me. So I hopped up and had to make these. So, but isn't that pretty? You know, you don't have to use anything special. It's just fun. Um, I do like to trim these, the corners, just on the front side. And I'm choosing to go up and down, you know, the correct orientation of the um, picture. But the back, I'm just going to leave straight. So, my art glitter glue, you'd think I would have got more organized. <laughs> it's not, that's mine. But I had everything over here just a few minutes ago. Well, cause, but then you made room for me. And oh, that's yeah. I blame plant, just kidding. It's all right. Oh, it's blame plant. Oh, it's on the floor. Oh. oh. But I might need a needle or a pen. I wonder where that went to. <laughs> Well, hi, Chloe. What you doing, honey? Oh, I'm good. You got it? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do, if you guys have made these before, they're so simple. But what you do is you fold it in half, and then you fold it in a third so that they are kind of, um, what's Chloe. it called? Over. Michael. No, it's over on one of them. <clears throat> And then, right where your center is, where that fold is, right there, you're just going to kind of do a V. And I like to do a little thicker V. It's almost like a U. <laughs> on both sides. And that way, you can put like a little um, tag or something in there. And you'll be able to get it out. So like this and then what I do is I just kind of make sure it looks nice when they're folded like this one I could do it a little bit like that and you know that's really nice I like that and then you know go ahead and ink it or do whatever you want to again this is just a piece yeah. from a magazine it's just a, an ideal magazine and I thought we would just kind of work on a few of these today and then what I do is just glue it down I always use my art glitter glue for this and then down here go ahead and go down one length here and then up on the inside that way you have both of your little edges glued down And how fun is that? Super simple. Same on this side. I just glue here. Put one here and here because I forgot. And then here. Hey, doing these on a hundred year old machine, the hand crank machine isn't exactly the easiest, the easiest method, I bet. <laughs> Clint's over there, like I told you guys. He's, I think I told you he's working on, um, did I tell him? Oh, uh, yeah. I yeah. Think. He's working on Ruffles. fabric ruffles right beside me. So you'll hear the clinking and clanking. But, and then I thought, you know, because typically I would finish here, but I want to go ahead and add our tags to it. That way, whenever I am done and I just need to pull from my stash, all my tags are ready to go. <clears throat> so, let me see what I have here. Again, I am just digging through my stuff to make tags with. Just my scrap, uh, scrap paper. And I'm just going to kind of just eyeball it. And what I'm going to do, let me show you. It doesn't help unless I show you, does it? Ok, 
Okay, so I am just going to, that is like perfect for oh, this. Here, now you could certainly do a tag. You could put on your, um, put on your ribbon, on your tag or whatever. But I really like just doing something really simple. And make sure it fits. Because, <laughs> you know. And then if you put it like that, and then you can just pull it out for a journaling spot. And then you can open it. So you're going to go ahead and use up tons of your um, paper for journaling and stuff. So... I'm going to go ahead and do my Distress Ink. Well, Chloe's around. She's playing with the mouse. Oh, wow. Chloe's out. It's, uh, it's about 4.30 on Sunday afternoon. and well, She's out and she's running around. And that's un unlike her. But we have noticed that her little personality started to change. So she's more loving. She wants to sit with us more. And now she's playing fetch. Which is so funny. All of our cats pretty much play Except fetch. For one. I think Lily's the only one. Uh, plays. yeah, Lily's never played fetch. Oh no, fetch. she doesn't either. No, really. Sophia, no, Sophia doesn't so play fetch. Just, yeah. And then that's going to go in there like that. Now I do have this one, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I have this I could put in there, but I kind of want something that's going to go with it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of dig through my scraps and just see what. You know, if I can find like an orange or something that would go better than what I already have. And especially because I don't use orange that often, but look, there's an orange. That's going to be perfect. So I think I'm going to cut it down about four squares. So let's just see. And see how that's going to work. Yeah, I think that would be about right. And then once you have your things in there, oops, almost cut off the orange part, you know, your tags and stuff, it's ready to go. You know, you can always come back and decorate here and there. But let's just see how this is going to fit. <clears throat> and I really like that orange just kind of peeking up. That's kind of fun. And then we'll just see how many we can get done in, you know, our hour or whatever. Because that's what we're doing mainly is just building our stash, you know. Different sizes. That's one thing I wanted to show you guys is different sizes that we could use, different papers. You know, you can do itty bitty ones, you can do really big ones, whatever you want to do. And again, I am just using Vintage Photo with this really awesome ink blender that my sweet husband makes. If you're interested in having an ink blender, I know I haven't been mentioning it as often, but go to my Etsy, which is always listed in the details below. Go to my Etsy and <clears throat> um, send me a message. My Etsy is the Rambling Crafter on Etsy. Send me a message and I can add you to our list. So one thing I did find, <laughs> is the code uh, the UPC code I don't really like to you know I like to make sure it's usable when it goes in my stash so what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut out another square actually I had that one didn't I <clears throat> that I could have used and I'm gonna go ahead and round two corners but mainly I just want it to look nice when somebody goes in there to use it, you know. Ooh, and I have, I have an idea. Check this out. I think it might be Phyllis, maybe. Oh, I bet it is. Yeah, but Julie's over there with that call. Yeah. Sorry, we heard some stuff. But let's make this into a little pocket. Because why not? You know, be creative. You know, I, I try, like I said, I try not to have a bunch of things that are identical in my books you know I kind of want little bits and pieces that are totally different and then I have this little tiny piece that I really didn't think I could use 
So I'm just going to trim it and make a little tag to go in there. Just kind of eyeball it. See if it'll, I think it's a little bit too wide. That is not a problem. Isn't that cute? And then I'm just going to nip off the edges. Not too worried about it being perfect, which is good because I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> but you, these for that? Kind of the color, ooh, that's pretty. The color you need? Uh, no, not right now. I mean, kind of it would work, but. And then this little guy can go in here. And then when you pull it out, there's another little place for a tag. You can write or whatever you want to do. So we got one done in about 16 minutes, but mm -hmm. I don't think they'll all take that long. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Let's move on to this piece, because why not? Um, you know, you could certainly just use this the size it is, and should I? Think of Michelle. I feel like it's not it's not straight. Okay. Didn't feel like it was, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. I'm finding that the thinner ribbons don't um the material? Yeah, that yeah. Doesn't seem to work as good as the a heavier weight fabric does. Yeah, he's finding that the heavier weight fabric works better, right? Yep. When he's making his fabric flips or his fabric um ruffles. So let's go ahead and use this one. <clears throat> and again, you're just going to fold it in half like this. I mean, you could measure all this if you wanted to. I'm just not that big into measuring. I know a lot of us aren't. <laughs> Do you guys like to measure? Clint does. Clint would be like, it's got to be perfect, but I'm not. I'm like, whatever, just make it work. Is that her? No, it's Bella. So. Oh. <clears throat> We're having a pretty good year as far as hay this year. We was really bad last year, so. We're yeah, the hay so there. And everything. This one's not perfect. I didn't really fold it correctly, but that's okay. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect like I keep telling Clint. <laughs> But, you know, you want to make it, you want to make yourself happy, too. Yeah. So you don't want to, you know, well, I don't like it. And then every time you see it, you don't like it. You want to make yourself, um, you know, enjoy it, too. So this one's going to be a long, skinny one. That's kind of fun. So let me grab my corner chomper. I need to get a new one. I dropped this on the floor and it broke it but that's quite all right and then again we're just going to I'm gonna glue this one here fold it over see I didn't do it quite a third but that's okay and then I'll just go up this side up this side and that way it'll glue down my little areas I love just, you know, kind of playing, using up your scraps. I think that's really fun. And, you know, I mean, you're building your stash. And that's what's fun is because, you know, like I say over and over again, I mean, I spent like a month making up um, ephemera. So, like, every day I would do something. i got to find a pen. Every day I would do. Yeah, pencil. No way. Oh, a pencil. stick pen. <clears throat> Sorry, baby. I would do about eight or ten pieces of ephemera for 30 days. And, you know, eight times three, so that's about 240 pieces of ephemera. And after I made three journals, I was almost totally out. 
So, I mean, you go through it so fast, but it's really fun because you can also zip through those journals. <laughs> you know, which is really enjoyable. Well, and, you know, sometimes it's just fun. You just want to put the papers and decorate them and be done, you know. So sometimes that's just just fun but right now I mean I do still have a couple of journal ideas that I want to do but I also want to just enjoy myself for a little bit too my glue keeps getting stuck I have a love-hate relationship with art glitter glue I was gonna say it's definitely a <laughs> blessing and a curse isn't it? it is because I love it I think it's awesome glue but man, sometimes I just struggle with, <laughs> with it. Okay, so I have another piece of this. So let's cut that down. So that's kind of fun to use. Like I said, use up your scraps. And I love just having, you know, a piece for... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just cut it. Just about right there you could fold that over but since I don't really have enough that's going to go all the way you know around or whatever to fold it in half and that wasn't quite short enough so what do you guys have planned this week anything fun I know some of you are teachers and stuff what do you guys do during the summer it is almost, Clint and I were just talking about it today, it's almost mushroom hunting season. Uh, we go out and we look for edible mushrooms and usually uh, chanterelles. We love chanterelles and it's about that time of year where, you know, we might find a couple of them. Uh, mainly it will be in August, but we can kind of see some of the not edible ones you know the poisonous ones things like that yeah they come out about the same time yeah they do come out around the same time and you want to be sure what you're eating <laughs> i always tell people you know if you want to get into eating um mushrooms you know your life is not worth eating a mushroom um my best friend just recently told me that her where they were it was on the news that her, because she went back to Minnesota, and people who supposedly knew what they were doing, the whole family died from poisonous mushrooms. That's, so, yeah. they went out and gathered mushrooms and obviously didn't know what they were doing. And, I mean, it's horrible, you know, always know what you're doing. I mean, there are definitely look-alikes and stuff, but, you know, just not worth dying over. That's what we think, anyways. Yeah. So, I am using kind of the light blue on this one. I'm going to keep that. And, again, I'm doing the same thing. <clears throat> just making up my little tags, my little journaling cards, whatever, to go in here. But, yeah, we go out, and it's taken us many many years to start doing it in 08 in 08 yeah so 9 11 years already yeah we started doing it taking pictures and then yeah we started taking pictures and we were on a locate and this guy said Clint was telling him oh we go out and take pictures of mushrooms and the guy says well do you eat the mushrooms and we told him no and he said we well, ought to because if they're poisonous mushrooms, there's going to be the edible ones around. And then I started doing tons of research, and it was pouring this one time when we were up in the mountains. And I told Clint, "Hun, I really think these are chanterelles. So what we did, we weren't sure, but we went ahead and got three big lunch bags full. I mean, huge. And especially, you know not knowing what you got and then we came home and did research and found out they were indeed chanterelles so now every year we go out for chanterelles it's a very sought after mushroom 
beautiful mushroom. It too. is a really Warm. pretty mushroom, but there are look-alikes, and this is a sad thing, but there are look-alikes that are poisonous. They won't but, kill you, though. But we know the difference. They yeah. really make you sick. Yeah, and the research I've done, they say that um, these people will go out and they'll find the look-alike and they'll gather them. And then they'll take them home and eat. And they end up in the hospital sick, you know, because they're poisoned by these mushrooms. And then they'll turn right around and go out and gather the same mushrooms all over again and end up back in the hospital. <laughs> That makes a lot of sense to me. You know, it's just crazy how people, <laughs> uh, too funny that, you know, you'd think that you'd learn your lesson, but they say, oh, they're so pretty. The story I read, oh, they're so pretty, they can't be poisonous. Well, some of the prettiest ones are poisonous. Oh, most, yeah, deadly. Yeah, most deadly. So now we have two. Cool. I need to plug in my uh, camera. I thought it was charged up, but... I do have it already plugged in. I just have to plug it into the source. There we go. Because I wasn't sure how many videos I'd get done today. So we're just having fun. But yeah, that's a scary thing. And my friend says, I'm never eating wild mushrooms again. You know, and you know, that does happen more often. I mean, even these people who are so knowledgeable in mushrooms or edibles, you know, even like a uh, greenery and stuff up in the mountains, they'll end up getting the wrong thing. So Clint and I have a thing. Mushroom is not worth dying over. <laughs> oh, I mean, and there's, you know, you have the chanterelles and then there's a couple others that will look, look like some poisonous. And they're so good. I don't see why you would even want to look for a different one. Oh, no. I mean, they're very good mushrooms. Yeah. I mean, the edibles we like, we... We typically get four. We know four, a hundred percent, and we only like two of them. <laughs> the other ones are not our favorite. Well, like yeah, one gets infested with worms super Ugh, fast, and it's so gross. I can't handle and, that. Or you know, the other one tastes like you're eating wood. Yeah, one's so. really woody, and the other one gets really infested with little white worms. Blech. But then there's like these beautiful... The chanterelles really don't get infested. No, they don't. So, which they is good. They're usually pretty, pretty. But, you know, we just go foraging, I guess, and, you know, see what we can see. We'll get raspberries. Come yeah, we'll fall. get raspberries or rose hips or, you know, we just kind of go out and get whatever we want. What we see, what we'll use. We might get rose hips for our... Um, junk journaling this year. I think that'd be kind of fun to maybe dye some rose hips and just see how it turns yeah. out. We actually got some <laughs> rose hips years ago and we thought, oh, we'll make rose hip jelly, you know. So, I mean, that's a lot of work. You have to really be careful because rose hips has this real little tiny um, kind of pokey thing and they say it gives you like itchy bottom. Yeah, and because that. it goes through your system and yeah out your bottom so it gets <laughs> and so you know we were really careful we made sure that none of that itchy stuff was in there it was just the juice and then one day we were we had cooked it up and Clint's like oh hon you should try that because he had already tried it and Oh my gosh. And then I took a bite of it and he's like, isn't that the worst thing you ever put in your mouth? <laughs> I got news for I'm everyone. I'm like, thanks, she honey. Does that. She would, does that to me all the time, or she used to. I, I do. <laughs> so it was just almost, it was payback. She shot her mouth off. So. I'm really ornery. What can I say? So it was but I was like, he, I don't know how he was able to tell me disgusting. to taste that with straight a straight face. It, it was just like, oh, it was so horrible. I know people like it, but to me, I just can't And it might have been fine Whoa. with uh, sugar in it, like, because we were going to make rosehip jelly, but oh man, it was awful. So I called my friend, because she doesn't like to waste anything, and I said, hey, we have all this awesome rosehip juice. Do you want it? And she actually took it and cooked it up but I mean it took us like eight hours or something to pick all those and cook them up and 
you know, we didn't want to waste it. It was fun foraging. For it was fun know, foraging. Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a lot of fun, don't but need to. it wasn't good for us. We did not enjoy the taste of it. <laughs> it's one of our foraging excursions. <laughs> we have fun. A lot of times in spring, when we the towns we used to locate in up north of us, we don't go up there very often. They have asparagus everywhere so a lot of times in spring we go and pick asparagus they have it down here but it's not as uh, up there prevalent. you can get like 10 pounds Bags in a day bags, you know so but down here you don't find it as often so, so we, but we didn't go up there this year yeah we didn't have to locate up there which is funny because now we have a locate up there so i don't know <laughs> but yeah we just Clint and I, that's that. our special time is going over the mountain and looking for leaves or, you know, picture things to make pictures out of, things like that. It's just a lot of fun. Well, and I love photography. I have went through some of my pictures, and I thought when we have a little extra time that I could uh, maybe try my hand at making some digital prints out of some of the pictures that we've taken. So that'll be kind of fun. I've been able to get some like of squirrels and things that are just adorable. So this one's cute, huh? I like that. But isn't that adorable? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can put in there for a journaling spot. So I do have this purple paper. This was from us doing some roses. So oh, that'll yeah, be kind of fun. Yeah, the roses that Clint bought. Again, I'm not going to measure it too closely. I just kind of want some little, you know, journaling spots in there. Well, they kind of match, you know. Hey, that long pieces of fabric, boy, it don't make very long ruffles. It doesn't either. He had one that was like a yard long, so it was like three foot long. And when he finished, it wasn't even, yeah, it probably wasn't even 12 inches. <laughs> now, you don't have to curve this. I like to, you know, corner around because I think it just makes it look nice, but you certainly don't have to. And if you don't have a corner rounder, you could just use scissors if you do want to corner round, you know. I'm just gonna pop that in there, easy, easy. And, and of course I do save these itty bitty pieces for my, um, for my, what am I thinking, collaging. So, unless they're just too tiny. If they're smaller than like a pencil or something, I'll get rid of them. Because, you know, I can't really do anything with that. Well, I'm getting a lot of them knocked out. Are you? Cool. Yeah. Okay, so I have this one. got three done. I think I'm going to go ahead and ink around this one just to add a little bit of color and stuff. Then we'll probably do one or two more before I call it done. We have time and we're just enjoying ourselves today. And so, thank you guys. You know, I just love you guys. Um, whenever I'm having a bad day or somebody says something hateful, you know, I have people who come in and say, you know, ignore, the haters <laughs> thankfully we really don't have it a lot but you know sometimes especially you know I had one on a video from this winter when I could do hour-long videos all the time and you know sometimes you're just like <sighs> you know it was on a series again and you're thinking you know why be hateful and sometimes it just ends up getting to you so I'm trying not to let it though yeah, just let it go baby. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, but you know, I've never it's heard not. her, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh man, look at this one. 
Oh, look at that. That's now pretty. Now that one turned out good. See, it's a heavier. Yeah, this one's a heavier weight. Kind of reminds me of that, um, those ruffles like your grandmother used to wear. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Okay, there you go. Ooh, I'm sweating. Yeah, this one, we're going to do it lengthwise. We'll try that. Let's see. Let's do it like this. Why not? We can make any size we want. And again, I'm just folding them. It doesn't have to be anything perfect, you know. So, I just want to... If you wanted to and, you know, put time, you could um, score them and then fold them. Yeah, not me. I'm not into that. Sometimes I just want something fast and simple. Okay. I cut my strips with my stripology ruler. Yeah, he did. He went through cutting those strips. It was really quick. So, I, you know, if, if you're into, I would get, I really love that stripology ruler. Yeah. No, I the, really do. It does good. It even worked good on paper, too. Which is really nice because... He has issues kind of cutting sometimes, yeah, cutting the and the stripology kind of has these strips in the plastic, and then you just put your cutter there and cut through it, and you end up with your two-inch strip or whatever, and it's almost perfect every time. So that's what he's kind of yeah, talking it's about. Been awesome for me. That's one of my hardest things. Is Isn't that cute? Look how tiny and that one's just cute. These are long. And then this one's short and fat. This one reminds me of oh, myself. <laughs> there he is. Look who's here, guys. Mr. Cubster. He's trying to get mine to come on, but he's sleeping. Yeah. That's because he knows he's not the favorite. He's daddy's favorite. Yeah. He dad daddy should not have a favorite. Yeah. Cubby Dean, really? Seriously. Oh, my goodness, Cubby. <laughs> he threw my box of goodies on the floor. Mine wouldn't do that. Uh, uh, how uh, do you know? Yours wouldn't come up here anyways. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Oh, you guys. My oh, little... turned out nice. My little stinker. He's a good little guy. Uh, so I'm just going <laughs> to ink this around my little brat here. Wow, that looks nice. Okay. I tell you, when he wants his mama, that's all he, he wants. Doesn't. He's like, you know, yeah, I want you and I don't care if you have time or room for me, yeah, which is so funny because sometimes I'll have like my laptop on my lap and he will climb underneath the laptop to and sit on, with my laptop laying on top of him. He doesn't even care. He's just like, I'm just going to lay right here, mama. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, so He's a genius kitty. <laughs> You gonna help mama? You gonna help mama? Let's see if I can move that so you don't get it all over you. Oh, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, now that's just precious. He just loving on him, mama. And he's going right to sleep, too. Oh, Bubba. Bubba, Bubba. He doesn't have anyone's lap to sit in. So he's kinda. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, this fabric's a green. Look at that. Yeah, it is. That same fabric that he just did. He's really enjoying that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll glue this. Come here, Bubba. I know, honey. Why don't you go lay with Bubba? <laughs> Not the fondest of this thread. It's breaking. Oh, yeah. Man. Well, we have tons of thread in there. I know. I just didn't want to use my good thread. Clint's using like a cheaper thread well, I got for it, these. I think it's been... Um, from a thrift store, I think. Yeah. Isn't that where we got it? Yeah, that's where I got it. And he's not that thrilled it's with great. it. So let's see if I can get this glued before Cubby comes oh, back over. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Cubby, don't you go if you look over here, you can see him. Here he comes. <laughs> uh, 
You know, thankfully, though, he's really the only one who is, like, in your face all the time. Yeah. I mean, the other, you know, cats kind of give me a break. Because I have one over here to my right. And then I have one, Sophia's, on the other end of the table. But he's the one who's, like, you know. And he was that way when he was a baby. He when was when we would three. feed him. <laughs> you had to feed him by himself. You could not feed him with the others around because he'd drink his milk push the others away <laughs> and drink and their drink milk their bottle and it was yes thank god mom was here that winter because we had a bottle feed all three of them at the same time yeah clint would end up getting one bottle before mom got here and so i would have to feed him he would drink the whole time he was able to feed two of them at separate times so he could feed one and the other one would would just wait patiently not this guy he was like in your face he wanted this food he would fight for it and you know we tried like clint would try to feed sophia in him but poor sophia wouldn't get any food because <laughs> cubby was like right in the yeah cubby wanted it before so we didn't take us very long to learn that he was by himself eating because daddy could feed the other two but I tell you and he has he's been that way his whole life yeah. pay attention to me I want to go first <laughs> Happy beans. Here's the bug. oh the good thing is we're just about done with this video <laughs> not a pretty one I love that I think that's fun. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to find something to go in this one. See if I have some blue or something that might be kind of fun. I do have this blue. That might work. See if I can do it with just my scissors because a little stinker here. Holy cow. That thing's five foot long. Oh, cool. You going to cut it in half? No, I'm going to do the whole thing. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there it was. I'm from it to touch for even longer. I can see how it goes. Huh? Uh, this is a bright blue, and I'm going to just make it work. You know, I think it's light enough you could still journal on it. But it's kind of fun, and then I'll just pop it in there. Easy peasy. There we go. So that will go in there. And I just like the color in there. Let me see if I have one more for the other side that I think would work in my scraps. That'll work. Cool. So, again, I'm just going to try to cut it with him right here. We had a cat. Her name was Cuddles. And she, we, I've told you guys before but she's the one we lost to diabetes but she was my little girl and she had to always be with me even when I did stained glass she never ever got into things she always just want I so I would have a bed on the table for her to lay on and she just wanted to be with me even when I was doing something in the kitchen I'd pull up a chair and she'd lay on the chair she'd never get in the food or anything she just wanted to be there <laughs> she was a sweetheart she loved daddy and you'd have to, um, if you were taking a shower, then you have to invite her in because she would just sit outside the door and just cry. So, whenever you took a shower, even if you were a stranger here, we made them take them in because she in wanted there. to go in with them. <laughs> Chloe does the same thing, which is so funny because when Clint's mother was here, she, um, would leave Chloe in there when she was showering you know well Chloe doesn't particularly like to be in the bathroom so grandma would get in the shower and all of a sudden you'd hear this blood curling, <laughs> blood -curling scream from the cat <laughs> so mom would jump out of the shower and let her out you know and then she would double check to make sure that there was nobody no cats in there when she was showering and one time, I, I don't know if Chloe wanted to be 
in the bathroom while grandma was showering or what but she had hid in the counter and grandma didn't know so grandma did her search nobody was in there and then all of a sudden she heard this blood curdling scream and it was chloe again she's like i even looked <laughs> so uh let's do one more because why not i mean we already got four that's pretty cool let's see if we can do like an itty bitty one you know just uh kind of use up some more scraps i thought this would be fun this is an index card let's just kind of do it and see what we can do this is a three by five index card it's coffee dyed and I love just using my scraps I just think it's fun and building your stash with these you could put like you know the thing with these is yeah I, I made them to fit over a page but you could put them in just a folder or a pocket and then just pull them out have journaling spot that's kind of cute so yeah let's do this really tiny one I have some more ideas with other objects but I want to do that probably for tomorrow's video that was five at least over five foot long this one was about five foot long that's how long it came out is it even a <laughs> foot 15 inches that's so incredible. that's cool though because you can cut these apart and still use them you know so yeah that's cool that's amazing so yeah i love just doing these um i love the plain ones whenever i do them i like to collage a napkin on them or something i think that's really cute so i mean just because we're doing this now doesn't mean that you can't come back later and decorate it you know i try to when I am doing my, I think I'm going to use the quarter inch. And when I am doing my, kind of building my stash, I want to, you know, do the main part of it. And then if I want to add something later, when I come back, I can. So, but look how cute that's going to be. It's just an itty bitty one. It's two inches, two and a half inches by just over an inch that's cute I love it okay let's see if my glue is gonna cooperate they say sometimes you have to remove the metal piece of this glue and kind of let it boil and clean it out and stuff I think I really am to that point I say that a couple of times but sometimes it just really needs it <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying building your stash. I hope you're joining me. Kind of crafting along with us. I guess these could be called craft alongs. Plant and I are crafting along with you guys. With each other. We just sit here and ramble. Just talk about whatever we feel like talking about. But I tell you, I love nothing more than to have my stash built up when I am doing some journals and you know our work and stuff gets so busy um, like I said I think it was on yesterday's video um, our, our work gets so busy this time of year because you know people are thinking winter's getting closer and they need to prepare for it so, I think I'm going to use this glue. I'm going to see if I can't cut it and kind of make it somewhat straight here. See if it'll fit. Yeah, that works pretty well. Let's see. It's not 100% straight, but it's not too bad be perfect for a little journaling area oh my. again uh, I'm using the quarter inch round for the smaller they are the smaller um, corner area 
corner rounder I use. So, but this will go just in there. Oops, it's just, if I can squeeze it in there a little bit, make it fit. Okay, that fits. Um, let's see, did I have another tiny piece that I could use? Oh, just something, something to use here. Okay, let's use this one. That one's so pretty. Oh, my little boy, he just went to look out the window or out the door at the birds. So that's a good thing. <laughs> the birds are probably out there looking for food and stuff right now and a lot of times, about this time of day, they'll, both him and Clint's little boy will go over and just see, watch the birds and tell us all about it. Clint and Daddy will have a conversation. Well, part, yeah, part. <laughs> part and part is a talk, and he'll talk. Oh, I said Clint and Daddy, didn't I? He just talks, but he's really a smart cat, and he tells you what he wants. It's just, you got to listen to him, you know. Is <laughs> he'll... He told me one time I need want my litter cleaned out. So he went in I said, Well show me what you want and he went into the porch and stood by the litter and wanted me to clean it out. So. Yeah, and he's got on this kick where now he wants to play with uh, ribbon. And so he'll sit there and just cry at Clint and talk to him and Clint's like, What do you want? And then he figures out that he wants to play with his ribbon. <laughs> and he's never really been a player, so it's yeah. kinda fun to watch him. You know okay and then this one's going in here how cute hi Cutmeister what are you doing Bubba so this one you know I will probably come back later and put something cute on the outside whether it's some napkin or something but I mean we did five or six one two three four I can't remember and he's kind of sitting all over everything okay <clears throat> I think these are the ones we did. So just out of scrap book material or scrap of paper, these three. This one is from, uh, sorry, these three. This one's from a magazine. And then this one is an index card. But isn't that fun? I think they're just absolutely adorable. And if you wanted to, you could put like a uh, paper clip on the back of this and then just have it lift up and have journaling areas in there. So, I think we are about done with today's video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will have the link below for my 4,000 subby giveaway. If you have not entered, you need to go over to that video and leave a comment in order to be entered. So, you can find that below. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your sweet comments. You guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Take care, guys.